Yes, indeed, we possess a certain power, a power that fuels revolutions and feeds nations. And in politics, women have always been the engine between our political campaigns. We remember women like Doreen Duncan, Daisy Wong, Mildred Bagapoon, and all our other heroines who risk their lives and their families, and the youth and some of our leaders who had a passion for our country. I'm so glad to be part of a movement that promotes strong, competent women sitting at the table. Shirley Chisholm famously said, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. I brought my folding chair, but apparently I didn't have to. This APM party has given the women a seat at the table. The women you see tonight and an entire engine room full of women are ready to help change and grill for us all. They are ready to unleash the force that is women power to build not just another society, but a just, fair and flourishing society. And women's power is not anti-man. We love our men. But women power is the recognition that we possess a particular set of abilities to get things done, to make things happen. And so we will work alongside our men. Women's power in this political arena can bring forth tangible gains for democracy, including greater responsiveness to our citizen needs, increased cooperation across party lines, and a more sustainable future for Anguilla. Women's power can foster citizen confidence and good governance, make societies more resilient and economies more vigorous. And just by their participation, women prioritize health, education, and other critical development areas. Women's power can bring the change we desperately need. And that's why I'm here tonight, to tell you that the women of this APM movement, those up front and those behind, are all at the table and ready. Kimberly Fleming, Deanne Kentish Rogers, Quincy Gums Marie, and the driving forces behind this campaign are ready to bring change and to create a greater Anguilla for us all.